Hi there, Mike Mikowski here again, and we have finally completed the uh, Challenger space shuttle with STS-41C SolarMax repair mission. So let's take a look. Um, last we saw was working on final details of the payload bay, and here it is completed along with the SolarMax satellite. So I got this little rotating stand. Let's turn that on so you can kind of see it from different angles. Um, the payload bay required a bunch of different elements to finish it off and make it look a bit more authentic. One of the issues is at this scale, too much detail just looks fake and, but there's some things you kind of have to have. You know, we finished the flight support system earlier. We got the little bridge fittings. Um, Finish the satellite, I think I showed that last time. Uh, these things tilt a little bit. The um, payload bay details included two man maneuvering units with their cradles in the front, a uh, toolbox setting uh, that sits on one side, the uh, KU band antenna, which had to be scratch built because no kit provides that, uh, a scratch built remote arm with TV cameras, because the arm was straight and needed to be positioned so it could show this arrangement. Um, there's a little foot restraint that got parked on this side of the payload bay, and there was a uh, video, or I think a film camera, I think a uh, IMAX camera on this side of the payload bay. And then all these are just built out of bits of styrene strip, evergreen strip, um, and again, at this de at this scale, you don't have to put a lot of detail in. It just gives you the impression that there's something there. I also added the uh, remote manipulator arm cradles when it's locked down for launch and landing. Again, none of the kits provide that. Uh, I just had some self-adhesive uh, thick foil it's, uh, I used on the radiators. Uh, they're deployed on this model. May not do that on Atlantis if I ever get that far. <laughs> well, see, Atlantis is going to use a set of photo etch from um, Newware, and I've been sitting on that for many years. And the whole idea of building these orbiters was to use that. And this went without that as kind of a first step. Um, so it's, it's as done as it's going to get. You can see I glued the engines on now finally at the tail end of this. Um, one of the issues with that is the uh, those are replacements resin parts from real space models and they look really nice but they have a flat face and you've got this round dome with a big hole in it on the Ravel kit that um, makes it less than ideal to fit so in the future I'll probably putty that over and fill those holes in and flatten it so it makes a better joint. Um, so it's, it's not a, a, gonna be any kind of award-winning model. It's got tons of problems. There's little problems with the window decals. Um, the, when I glued on the doors, there's warpage. You can see it's a nice joint here and at the end, but there's gaps in the middle. I tried filling it with some CA, but, but the parts are just not straight. I got a little better results on this side, but it's inconsistent left to right. I think the arm turned out a little too big because if you unfold that, it's gonna extend past the length of the payload bay. Um, there's wrinkles in the decals. There's, you can see a hole in one of the engine mounts. I smeared some glue on the radiator. The, you know, there's just flat surfaces here for these nozzles, they're not drilled out. So there's inconsistencies there. But, you know, I, I, people don't build shuttle models very often, particularly to this level of detail, and I never have. So I felt uh, I, I needed to kind of do one to have a, a really detailed uh, state-of-the-art uh, space shuttle orbiter with a payload that I had some connection to. I worked on one of these modules um, back in my McDonnell Douglas days. We built the power module on all these little satellites. And um, so I felt, well, this would be a good one to do. So here it is. Um, hope you've enjoyed the videos. I'm going to probably take a break before I get to uh, doing anything with uh, Atlantis. I just kind of have to take a little break here after burning out on space shuttle models for the last, I don't know, six months. I'll get back to them. We'll do Atlantis. Then we're going to do some 
uh, small scale ones in two, 288th, and I think I've got a, a 200th scale one as well. Uh, we'll compare those to the Baran kits. So anyway, that's, that's the story on this one. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more down the road. Take care and happy modeling.